children, and you all had consensual sex with Miss Saybrook at her enthusiastic invitation. Do you agree with that statement? Yes, that's what I've been saying all along. And how did that make you feel? Like I said to Miss Gannon, when I make you feel sleazy. To Ob objection, Your Honor. Let the witness answer. Sustained. Like I said, when we all did that, I didn't think it was something that would become a matter of public record. Oh, yes. I recall your testimony to that effect. But that's hindsight, Mr. Lord. At the time, didn't you feel more than just sleazy? Didn't you feel sick with guilt? Because Miss Sable did not invite the three of you to have sex with her. In fact, you forced yourselves on her. One, then another, and then another. No. Your Honor, I just have one last question for the witness. Mr. Lord, how do you sleep at night? I would throw out the question. The prosecution is through with this witness. families held Marty Saybrook down on a bed at the Kappa Alpha Delta fraternity house. And despite her plea for them to stop and her screams for help, they tore off her underpants, gagged her, and forced themselves on her sexually. Now this was not an act of love or consensual sex as they claimed. This was an act of violence. This was rape. Ladies and gentlemen, we as a society suffer from violence all around us. And what happened to Marty Saybrook at the hands of these three boys is as violent as any street crime you hear about on the news. It's over. You must not. It's all over. Brazen and brutal crime of violence goes unpunished. For the of Marty Saybrook, look at our society. You must. They're guilty. They raped Marty. They're going to go free. Because I did my job so well. I served my clients to the best of my ability. And I hate myself for it. Miss Gannon? Miss Gannon? Yes, Your Honor. Closing argument, please.
Your Honor, I'd like to request a uh, short recess. Will counsel approach the bench, please? Your Honor, I just need a moment to collect my thoughts for a bit. Frankly, Miss Gannon, the only thing you're collecting is my annoyance. Yes, Your Honor. Now, if you pick this up, we will have a mistrial, and I do not want that. Do you think your thoughts will be collectible in ten minutes? Yes, Your Honor. When we return, I want you to present your closing argument so we can conclude this trial. Step back. This court stands in recess for ten minutes. What the hell do you think you're doing? argument was the best any district attorney could ever hope to make. You got that right. As long as it gets the job done. I wish I could believe it would. I mean, look at those guys. They're laughing, acting like they already know they're off the hook. I mean, who can blame them? Everyone saw the jury. Hey, don't talk like that. It ain't over till it's over. Well, I hope you guys are thirsty. My old man's got a half a dozen bottles of champagne chilling at the country club. Todd, you're acting like we've already been cleared. We haven't. Shut up, pal. God, you've been wringing your palms so much, I'm surprised you still got skin on your hands. Todd, what do you think Nora's going to do when she gets back? No idea. Better not be anything stupid. Miss Gavin's going to have to answer to me. Oh, <laughs> 